Yo guys, I'm back. And this video is about how to find a winning SaaS idea to replicate some good strategies and also how I build SaaS with base 44 without writing a single line of code, just prompting. So this, this is coming after on you know, Instagram, I had a lot of requests for this type of content. So I did a vote and like 98% uh, like voted for this. So let's make it happen. And by the way, I'm not making a lot of content recently on, on YouTube because this year I've been traveling across Asia and exploring. And at the same time, I was all in on SaaS. So this plus my other businesses, I couldn't find time to be active on YouTube. But now I'm back. One more thing you're going to find below this video, the AI SaaS playbook. It's like the perfect guide for anyone about to get into SaaS. So if you are serious about this, go grab it. This strategy I'm going to show you right now, this is the kind of stuff I share in my private mentorship. This is not something applicable just for SaaS, but e-commerce or any other business, you can reverse engineer what they are doing and, and profit. Okay, guys, so like to find a SaaS idea, there is many different strategies. One of my favorites, among others, is coming to websites where you can buy and sell SaaS, like Acquire. Like this is my favorite place to reverse engineer businesses in many industries, not just SaaS, because like now we are filtering for SaaS, but like e-commerce and stuff, you know how much people are making, what niche is working. Like I was able to reverse engineer many projects and built businesses following just like what I copy in here because they give you the whole blueprint. You know, what we look for is like highly profitable and not something in the millions because it will be a very massive infrastructure. Um, in the millions in, in, in the yearly revenue because it will be very hard to replicate. So we try to focus on something a bit smaller, like to $200, $3,000 per per year, something like that. And even like the small ones, because sometimes, you know, it's a very good idea, genius idea and everything, but like the execution, because most people building this, they're not good at the marketing. So like they are good at building the SaaS, but they lack the marketing, mostly SEO and some basic stuff. No funnels, no upsells, no nothing. So you can eventually find an idea that is bringing little money and turn it into a massive, massive one. So for the example, here are a few ones. So this one making made like 30, 32,000 the last, the last 12 months. And the profit is like, uh, it's almost like 80% profit. <laughs> they are running on profit. This is crazy scalable because it's only getting traction. And I, I guess like they don't have a lot of spending on the side, re, re, real time AI job interviews. And this is a, something that is working very, very, very good because I know many successful examples in, in this. And like, if you come in here, you check, they give you like everything. Number of active users, what technology they, they use, what's AI, uh, number of customers, and you scroll further down, you have when it was built, it have exactly one year. The team size is very small. I guess it's somebody plus the VA because this kind of project, it's mostly solo founders and very, very easy to, to, to build. React, React, this is what Lovable is using. I guess base two, it's very easy stuff. Open AI and here the growth opportunity, like what could be done and also, like the guy is operating the business three to four hours and all this kind of things. So like you have the whole blueprint. You just need to, for example, like this one is this niche. You're going to find something in a similar niche and you try to replicate. Here is another one. Offset carbon. This one I was about to build one for, for <laughs> here I'm giving you a niche. Uh, offset of carbon emission is good for, for people flying private and private jets. And it would be like, I think there is no app that is doing this for private jets. 
and there is a massive opportunity eventually like buying this one and tweaking it for the private aviation because this one is not like that profitable and it's easy implementation some apis and you can build it with base 44 easy easy piece of cake here's another one um Yes, th this one is like for anime, like you, 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 you upload anime pictures and like you get the anime translated. And I've checked like some competitors, they are charging like $5 per month and it's massive opportunity. Like they are making 7,000, but like there is, it's a, it's a good niche. Like there is a way to, to scale further. And here you have all the technology and stripe for payment ishigo manga is even given a competitor uh so like you can know the whole process like how it works and everything so you can do this on acquire you can do it on other websites there is flipa there is many many others and this is like just one single strategy to find like there is many many others in the ai SaaS playbook i'm mentioning some other strategies that you can leverage and w one more thing, like if you are just starting, just play around, you know, you can build something and iterate later. You know that even YouTube, the platform where we are right now, it started as a dating app and look where we are. So no overthinking, just like getting the machine rolling. And now let's get the machine rolling. Okay, so here we go with the base 44. So here is the prompt and I will show you around like how it works and everything. The exact one that I'm using will be in the resources. So you're going to find it below so you can eventually like replicate what I'm doing in here. So this is for the prompt and this is for the styling. Like you choose which style do you like for, for your, for your project. So for example, in this one, I can add this style or eventually you can add it in the, the prompt. Like in this situation, there is no style in the prompt and you hit go so it starts spinning and building your app so the initial like once once you ask it to build the app it's going to take some time like a couple minutes before having like something but it's really 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 powerful let's see what we're gonna get okay so in this case we are building profit pilot like it is for uh, Microsoft for e-commerce so it can calculate because like something I notice all the time because I'm with some e-commerce background if you follow me you might know this and I'm right now into e-commerce ventures and for e-commerce one of the biggest issue I notice is that people don't know their numbers they think they are at profit but they are burning a lot of cash on payment processing on this on that on the marketing cost of good and like they don't have that clarity on 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 their numbers and you need to know your numbers i prompted chat gpt to write the prompt for me and there is a template you cannot find it in the resources and you can use it and replicate either this or eventually if you run an e-commerce business or something or for a different niche and as you can see like it's built for us this let's say revenue one one hundred thousand orders let's say forty thousand just something like that reform let's say two thousand cost of goods 29 just to see like what we get in here marketing oh, let's see what we get with this boom and here the revenue the total cost and the forecast profit and if there is order growth, we see how much we can make as a forecast of the profit. If the average order value goes up, if you rise or bundle your offer or something, bro, this is crazy. Like we built this in a couple minutes. It's really crazy. If you increase the marketing span, then you're gonna shrink the profit, but like order growth is gonna grow too. Done good cost of goods is gonna lower because if you sell more you can negotiate the price so it goes down also the process is gonna be more smooth bro it's working <laughs> that was so so fucking fast 
and yeah you have dashboard and like this and we can improve it to have like the monthly the monthly that if it is not already available this let, let me show you something can you add a monthly chart to track the key metrics boom and now while he's crafting this let me show you some cool cool stuff so why why this is like by far the best platform to start as a beginner getting into SaaS because like it it, it removes a lot of headache because I started with Loverable and I definitely don't recommend it for a beginner like this is the way to go Base 44 is excellent and let me show you why so here we have an overview of our app if it is public so people can can, can see it. this is the users because you can add the login and stuff and you can have users login to get access to the app this is the monthly report the data gets stored for example this one on other platform you need to set up superbase connect to a database and um, it's more headache like here they handle everything and now that they are with wix it's just going to get better so this is the go-to app you, you get the stats this is something also very very important for the app like how users are using your app you can this is the url you can you can tweak it profit then later you can buy pilot one because i did one for the test and boom you can also get a, a custom domain name the code like this is how your page is built and then they have this in our enable ai agent so with this like you can build an agent ai agent this is something that you need for example with lovable an API from OpenAI or DeepSeek or or another here they have it integrated like they make everything easy everything and for example you can make an AI agent that check your stats and give you answer about specific mount or specific uh, product that you are selling and this is this is this is something really really cool for e-commerce like I can eventually later tweak it further for my my own stuff and then what is good is that like they make for you also the logo so you have your app ready to go you have the logo you have the app you have the everything another cool thing that they have is the authentication for example like just this it's a big headache to set up so like here you can just activate it very very quickly people can just log in with their google account or with their Facebook account and like these are massive massive headache on other platform that build AI SaaS so these are the strengths of this one it's very beginner friendly like it's the easiest way to get the stuff rolling now let's get back to the app and see what we get and here it is like it's added here let's see Mm. by the way when prompting you need to be a little bit more specific um this mount like i wanted to have like something to see like uh, the last 12 months or maybe maybe i need to add more data for other mounts and see how it goes let's add something random just to see cost of good marketing let's see what we get yes so we have august september it should be the opposite actually <laughs> but like these kind of things you can tweak just prompting here again september august and this is once you are satisfied with the result you come in here and you hit you hit publish and then your app you can also run a security scan and you hit publish and you publish it but first let's 
No, I think they added by default, like adding a user login. So only people with a login, uh, with an account, a Gmail account, are able to log into the app. Let's see if it is already established or not. Publish app. The app is missing access rule. No, it's going to work. Here we go. So we can log in. And one more thing, you can ask for creating an AI agent and you come in here and you will have like how to prompt it. So you give it a kind of master prompt and this is the way the AI gonna interact with your database. You can start asking questions like, how much did I, did I spend on this or, or, or which mount was the most profitable or something or this kind of things like analyzing your data, your, your data, you can eventually add option to import the data directly and populate all of this from a spreadsheet. There is tons and tons and tons of opportunities connecting it to Facebook uh, meta API and getting directly like the information on the ad spend and, and this kind of stuff. This is easily a scalable once you build it, it can be built and scaled and sold for premium. Because like there is a lot of people that don't have clarity on their e-commerce business and how it is going and having something like this can be very, very powerful. Connecting to Shopify or other platforms and getting directly the, the data. So, so yeah, guys, um, you will find the link below for Base44 and you will have something like five credits you can already play around and create stuff and and you'll have something like 25 credits for the, the the mount so it's all all good for testing and for base 44 it's free to use and it's good like to play around for free unless if you go serious and decide to publish something i recommend you to go with the builder it's still going to be cheaper than if you go with some other platforms uh, lovable for example because they are going to take a lot of heavy lifting in the beginning with their integration of the database of the AI and everything so it's a better option like for me if I was just starting I will go with this and you can connect it to github get connected to a domain name the most important thing so you can get your web app live otherwise like the free plan is more than enough to play around and like see how the things works so yeah, this is a wrap for base 44. And guys, don't sleep on this opportunity because this kind of things happen once in a lifetime. And I think like in two years, this thing is going to get saturated because everyone gonna start building SaaS and selling SaaS and stuff. So right now is the moment.